This is Robin Campbell with Deer Country coming live at you from the Commodity Classic. We're going to do a walk around of John Deere's booth here. Here's a first glimpse of the new S700 series combines. We'll have a 600, 700, 800, and 900. The 6 and 700 will have a 9 liter John Deere engine. The 800 and 900 will have the same 13.6 liter found in the X9. And that's not all we're getting from the X9. All the models will have the available cross auger shutoff, adjustable spout found on the X9, premium residue package, harvest automation, the new cab. We'll take a glimpse up there. So here is the X9 cab on the S700 series with some upgrades from even the X9. We've got a new G5 screen and a G5 uh, plus extended monitor there, larger cab. Machine sink antennas, integrated Starfire built into the center of the roof. And new automation sensors for ground speed automation truthing. We're going to pair satellite imagery with images from these two stereo cameras found on the front of the combine to automate ground speed based on your detected biomass in front of you. So if you've used Harvest Smart before, You've never tried anything like this. This is a John Deere industry exclusive. The ability to automate your ground speed based on actual biomass in front of the machine. Here we have the S7900 with the new CF12 heads. Got tracks on this machine. Combine advisor package on the side. Premium residue tailboard option. This would have the same 13.6 liter engine found in the X9. Here's a look at the new harvest settings automation. So if you're familiar with our combine advisor now, you had to set a performance target and just from there, this is now going to be the new run page where you're going to set a reference number based on what's most important to you. Grain loss, foreign material, or broken grain, and have real-time updates of how the system's performing and adjusting. We're changing active terrain adjustment to just be called terrain settings automation, and combine advisor is going to be changed to harvest settings automation. Walking around the rest of the booth here at the Commodity Classic, we've got an X9. Autonomous 8R with a 2660 VT, all ready for automation. We've got a new 9RX830, brand new model, largest horsepower tractor on the market with a C850 cart. So here you can see our autonomous ready 8R tractor. It's got a suite of cameras and sensors on the front of it. This is gonna be available in the future as a precision upgrade to existing model year 20 8R tractors. So it does not have to be a completely new tractor. We'll have the ability to add these cameras and sensors and turn any newer 8R into an autonomous 8R in the future. Here we've got an 8RX410 on a 24 row John Deere 1775 planner equipped with exact shot and furrow vision. Now, exact shot would be the fertilizer system that's going to dose fertilizer directly onto the seed by sensing it off of the brush belt seed sensor on an exact emerge planter. And furrow vision is the ability to see the actual furrow being formed with a camera built into the row unit. New option that's going to be available next year is going to be Sea and Spray Premium on a Hagee sprayer. The Hagee sprayers are also going to get the new G5 display integrated. And over here you can see a sea and spray ultimate machine, which can do a residual and a sea and spray pass all at the same time. So we've got two eductors, two tanks, carbon fiber trust boom, with sea and spray cameras and the ability to make a broadcast application and apply your residual, all while doing a sea and spray application for existing weeds. 
And I know it's not necessarily going to fit well into the Pennsylvania fields, but if you're a fan of big tractors, you can't miss the new 9RX 830. Largest horsepower tractor on the market. Completely redesigned. Cab visibility, completely new frame designed to handle this horsepower. Up to 168 gallon per minute hydraulic flow for these big implements. That is just a massive tractor. Ballasted up to 84,000 pounds to pull big air carts out in small grain country.